Hey, this is Dr. Barry. Let's chat for a few minutes about butter. Is it 100% saturated evil, as you may have heard in the past? Or maybe you're hearing the new news, the new research studies, the new reviews that say, hey, you know what, butter, not, on, not only is it not that bad, it's actually very good for you. So let's talk about that. Now, if you know someone who's still afraid of butter, who still uses margarine, or vegetable oil, please share this video with them. Send the link in a text message, in a direct message, in a smoke signal. Please help me spread the word that butter, that butter not only is not bad for you, it's actually very, very good for you. So let's talk about butter and let's learn some facts about it because it's actually an amazingly nutritious source of vitamins and minerals and all kinds of good things for you. And I want to tell you about some of that stuff. And you may not believe what I have to tell you at the end of this video. So first of all, butter is about 80% fat. And the other 19.99% of butter is water that just didn't get squeezed out of the butter. There are a few other little tiny things in there, but not enough to even really matter. There are actually over 400 different fatty acids in butter. You could actually get a PhD in just studying butter and all the things that are in butter. It's really quite fascinating. When I was doing the research for this video, there are so many things about butter that I didn't know, and I love butter, and I try to know about butter, and wow, I was really blown away by all of the nutritious things that are in butter. So out of the fat, of which butter is 80% fat, 70% of that fat is saturated fat. You're like, wait, I thought it was all saturated fat, right? No, no, not at all. So butter is very complex food. 70% saturated fat. 25% is monounsaturated fatty acid, okay, which that's the good stuff. That's right. You hear about that all the time. 2.3% is polyunsaturated fatty acids, and we'll talk about that more later. So 11% of the saturated fat is short chain fatty acids. And so the most common of those is butyric acid. You may have heard of that. It, you can only find butyric acid in ruminant fat. So in cows, goats, and sheep and their, and their butter. That's where butyric acid comes from. I don't know of another source. If you know of another source, leave it in the comments below. I'd be interested to see that. So butyric acid, very beneficial uh, fatty acid found only in the milk fat of ruminants. It reduces gut inflammation. There are research to back that. You can Google that and read those studies. It actually has been used by many gastroenterologists to treat Crohn's disease. Yeah, that's right. So butter is good for your gut. No doubt about that. The trans fats in butter, there are some trans fats, but the trans fats that come out of butter are actually good for you. Uh, there's one called uh, vaccinic acid. The other one is CLA, conjugated linolytic acid. You may have heard of that. It's actually very protective against cancer and actually help people helps people with weight loss. You've probably seen CLA supplements. You can just get it by eating butter. You don't have to buy the supplement, okay? Very, very big deal. Now, what about the vitamins and minerals in butter? Vitamins and minerals abound in butter, the most common of which are all the fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, and it's actually D3 in butter, not the D2 that's added to milk. There's actually real D3 in butter. There's vitamin E and vitamin K2. Not vitamin K1, but K2. Yeah, that's the good vitamin K that you've heard about that, that probably protects you from osteoporosis and from cardiovascular disease. This vitamin K has nothing to do with your bleeding or clotting cascades. It doesn't interfere with any of, any of the blood thinning medications that you may be on or may have heard about. It has no effect on those. You can have this vitamin K, vitamin K2, at liberty. It does not affect any clotting medication that you or a loved one uh, maybe on. So study after study in the past were actually designed to show that butter was bad for you, right? Huge studies. And they, and so but then when they crunched the numbers, they're like, hmm, 
Butter, butter ain't bad. Okay. And so a lot of those studies just got pushed to the side, but there are some of those that actually got published and you can read that research. Actually, recently, a huge review of all the studies showed that butter is not in any way bad for you. It's actually very protective. It actually helps keep you from becoming obese if you eat your butter. So the, the, the butter, when the fat in butter, when you eat it, it's going to raise your HDL, which is a very good thing. It may also raise your LDL, and that may send up your spidey sense, right? You may say, wait, that's bad, though, right? The research shows that butter only raises the number of your large, fluffy LDL, okay? It doesn't, it doesn't increase your, your, uh, the amount of your small, dang, possibly dangerous LDL. It only raises your levels of the large, fluffy, non-dangerous, actually protective LDL. So do not fear butter. Stop being afraid of butter. Stop saying butter is bad for you. And if you hear somebody across the room say butter is bad for you, help them understand the truth, okay? What I, what I would ask you to do is to please, please, please stop using margarine. If you have a grandmother or an aunt or a cousin who uses margarine, please go to their house and throw it in the garbage and give and gift them some good grass-fed butter. What's the difference between grass-fed butter and regular butter? Grass-fed butter definitely has more CLA. It has more omega-3s, and it probably has more of the vitamins. But just regular old cheap butter is still infinitely better for you and your loved ones than margarine, than shortening, or than, uh, than vegetable oil, which don't contain vegetables. So if you have margarine, shortening, or vegetable oil in your kitchen, please throw it away. Please use butter. Please use lard, okay? If you have loved ones or friends who have margarine or shortening, please sneak into their kitchen late at night, sneak in ninja style, and throw it away because it's harming their health and they don't know better. It's your job to teach them better. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more like this in the future, please consider clicking the subscribe button and the little bell button right beside it. That'll give you a notification every time I get a bright idea. And so if, if any of my videos have helped improve your health, if you really enjoy them, you can click on my Patreon link down below. It's a quick sign up and you can throw a buck or two my way to help me have more time to make more videos just like this. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.